John here, guys, and today we're talking about a different type of FPV project. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. This is a tiny little RC car that I have added FPV to. So now you can race around your house when it's raining outside, when your Whoop batteries are charging and have a grand old time. This thing is quite tiny. It's right about the same size as a Gen 1 uh, Transformer. This is a vintage Red Alert, which is the same mold as the uh, very famous Sideswipe, which is a Lamborghini, Lamborghini Countach. When we're done with them, they're going to wish they'd never been assembled. <laughs> All right, bro, let's go. And uh, this thing will give you an amazing, surprising amount of fun. And the key to this whole project is that the whole entire thing, the car, the controller, the camera is all gotten for under $30, right about 24 bucks for indoor FPV. Are you kidding? Now this is the simplest of cars. It's a very basic little servo motor in there for the steering. The suspension essentially consists of one tiny spring back here at the rear. And it even has some cool body work. So I had to cut the car up a little bit. Um, I had to cut this little body cover to get the camera on, but I did it in such a way that I could still sit the front and the back on there to retain its really smart looking looks. Now under here, you'll see that you have your little plug. It's like a little 1S, similar to a Whoop style battery charging plug down there. And there's the power switch. Um, so I took this thing apart, tried to find the power input and I tried a couple different places. Uh, first, I tried the ones where the capacitor that's in there is going into. And what was weird about that was when I wired that up, the camera would be on if the car was off. When I turned the car on, the camera would be off. So that didn't work. So I ended up, um, actually, I, that's the one I ended up going with. And uh, I ended up moving it from, I tried to use the ones that were right along the switch. And that actually, that's where I had that reverse problem. So go to the back where the capacitor is. The weird thing is if the plug for this little camera, and I do like that it has a little plug. If the plug is plugged in, it turns on, it ignores the switch. So my switch for the camera system is basically to plug that on, then turn it on, which is a little bit fiddly. I probably could figure out a better way to do it, but for a quick, you know, 15 minute FPV project, this is perfect. I'm going to show a lot of footage of this thing flying, you know, scooting around my house. It has tons of power for, you know, like a $13 car. It'll sit there doing donuts all day. Awesome burnouts uh, with this thing. And uh, it's just cheap, good, cheap fun. And if you have uh, folks over at your house, you want to be able to show them FPV, but you don't really want to put them on the sticks and let them fly a real quad since that takes so much time to learn. This is a way that you can throw the goggles on them. Anybody can pretty much drive an RC car and if they crash it, it's not going to break anything at all. This thing's pretty tough and uh, it's low to the ground enough to where it was going under my couches just fine. You could set up a little track. It even flew outside a little bit. I wouldn't really recommend this size for going through grass, but if you flew in the grass, I was able to get out sometimes. Uh, it's fun in the street. When you get a lot of speed, this thing just has enough power that if you turn too sharp, you're just going to go spinning like this. But really awesome fun. Guys, if you're into racing other than FPV uh, racing, you could set a couple of these things up and have a nice little fun indoor race with your mates, with your buddies. Uh, so, uh, I really, I'm going to put the links in the description below. If you want to get in on this, this is the cheapest FPV that you can possibly get the entire project for under 25 bucks outstanding. So go and check it out. It's cheap enough that, you know, you can afford to buy this just to kick it around when you're done with it, give it to a friend, get them into FPV, give it to a nephew, a niece, uh, somebody get your, get your, uh, significant other into FPV. This is a perfect gateway without the barrier for entry of the steep learning curve of learning how to fly a quad. So very fun. Thanks guys. Check out the footage.
Thank you.